Hey everybody, Big John G. Hey, check this out. Three ton of stone. Gone, baby. Gone, gone, gone. Let me show you what I did. So, we did get some pretty good rain the other day, and it worked great. I went ahead and brought it on up here a little bit. I had to be careful, man, because I've got a sprinkler head right here. Now, my plans are about right here, all the way across, and uh, kind of go over into our back patio, bring it around through here, around in front, like where the bed is, and then up in where the garbage can is there. All that, I'd like to, I'd like to pour concrete in. Uh, it's just a, a real high traffic area. It stays wet from the air conditioner uh, condensation line draining into it. I just, it's driving me nuts. But anyway, that's a project for another time. I did want you to see my finished creek bed. And I, if you look down through here, you'll be able to see where I kind of weaved it in and out. I didn't weave it. I just brought the rock out on the side to kind of give it the illusion of, uh, of the creek actually going back and forth. But uh, it works great. It, it, it really does, man. It works awesome. And, uh, boy, I tell you what, I'm really glad that Pete did a video on his cryptomeria that he has there in his uh, landscaping. We have two crypto, or three cryptomeria here. Let me back up a little bit. You can get a better look at them. But there's one. They're only a year old in our yard. I mean, they're older than that, but. Um, got them from a, a nursery over in Huntersville. But you can, if you look, you'll see the bronze color on here. And man, I thought for a long time ours was dead. Because <laughs> we'd never had Cryptomeria before. But, uh, man, it, uh, they do, they turn bronze and they, they do shed themselves. Uh, we're waiting to see what's going to happen with this uh, gold rider here. Uh, that's deer, baby. Wore it out. So my wife's wanting to take it out and and uh, and, and replant it, but I just can't bring myself to it because I told her I said, "Look, if they like a tree, let's leave them this one for now." But uh, yeah, we have deer all over the place here, man. We have deer all over the place. Hang on. So anyway, that's my quick video of uh, of today. If anyone wanted to finish that up. Now, I'm going to edge my beds. I'd like to make it a little bit different video, a little more instructional video of how I'm doing that. Uh, I got a lot of pointers from Pete about how to do that. Sorry about my glasses being so dark, guys. That sun's right in my face. Anyway, uh, but uh, thanks, Pete. I Man, I appreciate, uh, appreciate your videos and uh, uh, all that you do. And... Uh, I uh, do owe, I guess, owe an apology. I did mention uh, another competitor's grass seed on one of my videos that I posted up on the Academy Facebook uh, site. I didn't mean to. What I was trying to say is that I used that seed before I found peat. Um, and uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not going to use that seed anymore. I'm going to see how it does this summer. I didn't like how the sod did. Um, that it's the same seed, but it's the sod uh, that they put in the front. I didn't like how it performed last summer and all that heat. So uh, what I may do is aerate next year, and uh, and I'm gonna go with Pete's uh, uh, GCI uh, TTF. So anyway, uh, Pete, man, thanks for everything. I appreciate it, man. I mean, the grass looks great, and I will give a shout out, man. Carbon X and Green County Ferts. That's what's done it here. And I will tell you this real quick. I did, I've got a video, anybody wants to see it, I'll try to pull it up. It's at the end of a short video. But when I did my edging around my, by the new trees we put in, I had to pull grass out. And when I did, dude, I had, uh, I had roots in four and a half months. I had roots, three to four, three and five inches long. And they're white, man, they're healthy looking. Uh, and that's and that's all I've used. I have used, and I know Pete uses Melorganite, so I don't care to mention that. But I'm not using Melorganite anymore. I'm using X Green, the 818. I'm, a, I'm an old West Virginia boy. I know what chicken manure does, and, and I'm a believer in, in uh, carbon and what carbon does. So I'm, I'm that that's I'm gonna be using. I'm sorry about the wind, guys. I'm gonna be using 
the Carbon X, the 818, and then I'm going to be using the um, the uh, Bio Stimulant Pack, Humic RGS, uh, Air 8, uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, 700, and the 002 from uh, Greene County. I'm a believer in it. I've seen what it's done in my yard, and I'm not. I'm not. I'm not changing anything. I'm just going to keep rolling with it. But uh, again, I apologize, Pete, but your grass seed is now, baby. That's that's all. That's what I'm going to roll with. I'm a believer. I see what everybody's how it's performing for everybody. But anyway, thanks out there, uh, you DIY nuts, and uh, man, let's make her grow. So we got to mow. Johnny G's out.